I need to figure out a way to get that button closer to me. Um, hi lovies, it's Cherie. Uh, I have another haul. Mm -mm -mm. I've actually been holding on to this one and another one for a couple of maybe a week. Uh, but I wanted to film some other things first. And, <clears throat> and I also want to wait for my new camera, which is here. Uh, sorry if the lighting is weird. It's really early in the morning. It might not even be 7 a.m. yet, so the sun is sort of up. So, um, I'm trying. But, uh, so I've got a quick little haul for you guys from... I, I can't, I, you know, I try to just jump right in. I try. And it's annoying because I can't jump in until I've had my coffee, but I'm always trying to wear red lipstick and it's all over my cup. It's so sad. Um, ooh, that's really good today. Mm. Ah, okay. <sighs> We're going to edit this part out. <laughs> it's hard to get into filming. Like, it's really easy to sit here, but then you get, like, the record button on and you're like, where am I? What am I doing? Um, but anyway, so my first haul that I have is from Silk Naturals. And for you guys that are new to my channel, um... I have been doing the natural makeup thing for not very long. I'd say two months maybe, maybe a little bit more, so a couple of months. And I've just overhauled everything that I used to wear. So I have been trying companies and buying things and trying stuff and I am swimming in like samples and I'm just like, help me, help me. But I have, I'm starting to slowly see like the front runners that are coming out. So definitely a front runner company that I have had only one thing out of out of like a million things that I bought from there not work for me is Silk Naturals. I, I can't say enough good things about Silk Naturals. Um, I love their prices. Uh, I love that every time I get a shipment in the they write me a note like and that's a small thing but like they write me a note and sign it that says something like something specific to my order like you'll really like this lipstick you know thanks for buying and then they sign it or thanks Sheree you know it's just it's like sweet. <laughs> So I like companies that do those little things to to show that you're not just um, a wallet, which is good. Um, but also their products are awesome and their prices are awesome. So I just I don't have enough good things. I mean, there's I, I can't you can't go wrong. Go go to Silk Naturals. So a lot of my products are coming from there. Um, so in this order, I ordered three full size pro four full size products uh, that are going to be staples in my um, natural makeup everyday possibilities. <laughs> so the first thing that um, I'm really digging is this tinted oil... Blah. <sighs> See this is what happens when you try to film early. Uh, tinted oil control in blur. And this is like a finishing powder that you just put on the top after you <clears throat> after you put on your face. After you put on your face. Yes. Uh, but it, this really helps with oil control. I am, I'm super oily. Actually I'm more oily now that I'm into more natural makeup. I didn't realize I had such oily skin, but I think that the chemicals in the products I was using were drying up. You know, they were giving me that flat matte face because, you know, they were killing me slowly. <laughs> so this has really been helping. I mean, it doesn't, it by no means deletes all of it, but it definitely helps and it definitely makes it last longer. And then underneath that, I've been using the Tinted Oil Control Primer. So I'll put this on first and then I'll put on my face base and then I'll put on the blur. So it's like a trifecta of oil domination. Um, so those have been helping me a lot. And these are huge containers. And I think, I'm so bad at remembering prices, peeps. It's, I want to say these were like around 10 bucks. Meep, meep. 10 or 10 dollars. Um, another thing that I've fallen in love with, and I think I've heard just about every natural YouTube talk about, YouTuber talk about this, um, but it's the sleep in a jar. And I got it an extra light peach. This over my, um, Jane Airedale under eye circle delete or any other under eye cream that I'm using this on top of it uh, just really helps and it helps hold it in place so if you're using a cream under eye um, delete uh, this will help set it and you want to be real light with it you don't have to get crazy because then you'll look like you know like a ghost that got a lot of rest um, another product of theirs that I've really liked which actually it's their HD foundation and I love that it comes in this little stick. It's super easy to apply it. You just like, uh, you know, make some little, you know, draw little hearts and like a little penis over here. And then you just rub that in with your um, beauty blender and it works really well. But the thing that's weird about this is when I got, when I got the sample, it didn't really set into my skin well. 
at first, but then if you let it like sink in for like 20 minutes, suddenly it looked fantastic. So it, it was a little weird, so I decided to just go ahead and buy the full size. And since I've had the full size, that problem hasn't been, it's still there a little bit like in dry patches, but it's definitely been better. So I don't know if maybe the sample was just weird. I don't know, but it comes in this little stick and I just, I love this packaging. And you just roll it up like a, like a chappy. Um, so I've been digging that. And then I got some new things. Uh, Soap Naturals has a section, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's something like the last chance or get these things because you won't be able to later and things are cheaper section. It's up towards the top on the left. Um, but anyway, they have a lot of stuff in there that they're trying to either get rid of or they got overstock of and it's all discounted. So I went a little, a little happy in there. And the first thing I got from in there, um, I have terrible cuticles. I don't know what happens. I, I always somehow peel them or hurt them or something. So I'm trying to be nicer to my fingers. And so I got this chocolate cream cuticle cream. It, it smells like something that I would put on toast or something. <sighs> I wish you had smell-o-vision or like that, or I could like put it on the wall and you could lick it. It tastes so, or smells so good. Um, and I've definitely put it on my fingers, but then it makes me want to like, <laughs> so it really works. It's really moisturizing. It's got um, lots of different oils in it. I won't read it for you. Maybe you can see it there. Hmm. Um, but this stuff has really been working. I keep it by my by my chair. So like while I'm watching TV or whatever, I'll put some on. Let it marinate on there. Hmm. I want you. To, well, this is a side note, <laughs> as most of my videos have. But um, I'm addicted to Etsy. Is that how you say that? Will someone like spell that out in slow words for me? Is it Etsy or is it Etsy? Because I don't want to be misrepresenting them. Um, but I, I've got on the search for coffee themed earrings. Danger is ahead, people. Danger is ahead. Ooh, there's a nice bird. Hi, little birdie. We need to get our bird feeders out. We've, we've gone on a, on a tangent and I shook my hands really fast and I scared the bird away into the tree. Apologies. Okay, so the next thing I got in the, you need to buy this now or it'll be too late um, stuff, is this body oil, and it's called Baby Kiss, Kisses, and it smells, um, I was worried it was going to smell like baby ass, but it smells so good, it's, um, it doesn't smell like baby powder at all, it smells like, like delightfulness, <laughs> it's real light, it's not florally, it's not herbally, it's like delicious, and uh, you can use this after you shave, or if you feel like you need oil on your body. <laughs> so I wanted to give this a try and they have a whole bunch of different scents. And I you know, could have gone with lavender, but I know what lavender smells like, so I wanted to try something new. Branching out! Uh, another thing I got in their section, this is um, the Cream Blush in Avalanche. Let me roll up my sleeves so we can swatchy swatchy. Sorry, I poke holes in all my long sleeves. <laughs> um, but this one is a white, glittery highlighter color. And it's, I'm wearing it right now, but it's just this beautiful shimmer. Can you see that? I don't know. Does that help? Shiny, shiny, shiny. Does that help? I don't know. But anyway, um, it's a good highlighter. Uh, it's just a clear, or I mean a, a white sparkly. That's it. I'm not filming in the morning anymore. It's just, it's not, it's not conducive to us having a conversation. Uh, and then this is another product that I probably should have put in the stuff I like and will be an everyday thing. This was not in the sale aisle, but it's the HD Concealer in one, and it's their lightest shade for all you graveyard tan girls. Um, I love this stuff. It, this actually works as a great under eye concealer. Um, if I'm feeling lazy and I don't feel like doing the two-step for Jane, Jane Erdale, I put this on and just rub it in. Works great. And then the last things I got, um, sort of, that's not true. <laughs> I lie, um, was four lippies. And these were in the sale area. And I hate buying lipsticks online because I can't really tell if they'll look good on my face. I wish that they had like, I don't know, they have the swatches on the hand, but I just wish there was like a, a lip, lip swatch picture. Um, but the first color I got is in Atomic. And I actually had been looking at this. I, I hope they're not discontinuing it, but I had been looking at this uh, to buy in, in past orders. But I was like, you know, I just have so many reds. But this was in the we're going away area, so I went ahead and got it. And it's not even really a red. It's like a pinky red. So, I mean, it's a it's a dark pink. But, you know, I wouldn't call that like a... I wouldn't call that like a... Like a pinup red or anything. So, that's more of like an everyday red, I would say. 
Um, the next lippy I got is called Ingenue. 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 I can't read. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And it is a beautiful, like, corally, peachy, neutrally, pinky, <laughs> um, pretty. It's pretty. It's a lot oranger on me than I thought. It looks kind of brownish and delightful on on camera. And I actually saw Ingrid. I think it was her. I saw someone else who had purchased this and they swatched it. And it looked really good on her lips. But when I put it on, it's very orange. And um, I mean, it's not terrible. I'll totally wear it. But it's not a color that I would immediately go for. I wouldn't just go, that's it. And like pick it up and put it on. Um, the next one I got is called Skinny Dip, and this one is really pretty. This is a Kiss Slicker. I don't really know the differences. I think some of them are matte lines. Um, some of them are lipstick, so they're a little bit thicker. This one is beautiful. And again, this one looks brown, but it is so pretty on your mouth. Um, I think I was wearing this in, in my uh, unboxing for Celia. I think this is the color I had on my mouth. I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's just a good neutral for an everyday look. And this one, I haven't tried it on my lips yet, but it's called Showstopper. I can't, I don't have my glasses on, so can you see it? <laughs> um, but it's this beautiful bright pink. And since it's spring, I figured I should get a bright pink lippy. I need to come up with another word. I don't really like that word. I say it because I'm used to hearing it and because it's shorter. <sighs> Mouth candy. Hmm, I don't know. I'll think of something. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, so, and then I got some eyeshadows. I bought so much crap that I qualified for a free shadow, and so I requested a color, and then I actually bought so much crap that I qualified for two, <laughs> so she picked a color for me, and then I got the color of the month. So, the color that I asked for was called Whipped Cream. I'm, I'm looking for, like, a highlight color. Uh, this is, like, a, let me see if I can, it's got a teeny bit of shimmer in it, so that's why I like it, but it's mostly... Like a, well, no, it's got a lot of shimmer in it. I lied to you. Um, it's at the top. But uh, I wanted something that I could use to highlight at my inner corner or my brow bone. And I also really like the name. I love whipped cream. It's delicious. All right, so the next color she sent, this is the one she picked out. It's called Glory. And it's gorgeous. It's, um, it's like a bronzy gold. Oh, it's so pretty. But when you put it on, it comes off a little more top. Top. <laughs> Um, let me swatch it for you. But I wore this yes yesterday? No. I wore this the day before. Just as a lid color. And it's a nice... I know, I'm swimming in neutrals. It's on my knuckle. Ooh. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Uh, she couldn't have picked a better color. For me! And then the last color, which I think is the color of the month because it's little, is called Show. And it's also a sort of brownie, bronzy color. Let me swatch this one. I think I wore this one yesterday. No, I didn't. Um, but it's kind of similar to Glory. But, here I'll put it next to Glory. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's a little more bronzy. Glory, I would say, is a little more toppy. And this one is a little more bronzy. It's on my th third knuckle. <laughs> Numbers. Boop, boop. Um, so yeah, so I really like that color a lot. And then the last thing I got from there was something that I saw Chandra Stargleam. Chandra Stargleam. I can't ever get her name right. I love her to death, and I can't ever say her her, her YouTube name. Chandra Stargleam. Andrea. Um, she uses this in her channel, and it's just a beauty blender from Silk Naturals. But when she puffs it on her face, it looks so soft. And uh, I mean, I have this green one, but this green one is super dense, and it's not like it hurts me. You know, it's not like I'm like injuring my face or anything but when she pats it on I can see that it is soft this one it's like you know uh, 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 it's like thumping me in the face so um, I thought I'd give this one a try so I haven't used it yet because uh, I want to do this video but so this will be a new beauty blender for me to try it's very soft I think it's gonna work <sighs> so that's all I got from Silk Naturals uh, for this time <laughs> but again they are they are the top runner so far um, for for things that I want my dogs whining I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, so hope you guys enjoy. Go check out Soap Naturals. Um, definitely give their cream foundations a try. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of uh, powder foundations anyway, other than Honey Bee Garden. So, you know, 
feel free to experiment. I've had no problems with any of their products and they're super nice. Uh, so I will see you guys later and have a great weekend. Bye.